And here's our crew once again. We're at Cave Falls. Just going down to look at the other falls. Hey everyone, thanks for watching so far. This is Cecil again. Let me show you where Cave Falls is located. We're looking on Google Maps. You can see the Fall River. Here's Cave Falls. This over here is the bottom parking lot. That uh, is the top parking lot where you would take the trail if you're going to Bettler Falls, which is on the Bettler River. But let me zoom out a little to give you an idea of where everything is. Just to the northwest is the Bettler Ranger Station, and from the Bettler Ranger Station, you could hike 
to various areas uh, inside Yellowstone. I'm not going to go into that in this podcast. I'm going to zoom out a little more. We'll notice that um, we cross the state line from Idaho into Wyoming on this trip. And the little town that is closest to uh, Cave Falls is called Ashton, which is in Idaho. So here is Ashton. If you are coming from, say, the south, the southwest, so from St. Anthony or Idaho Falls, and this is Interstate 15 here, Interstate 15 will head south towards Salt Lake, you would get up to Ashton, you'd be on US 20, and you'll see this really cool little dining spot. It's like a classic old diner. And it's on 20, it's called Frost Stop, and when you see Frost Stop, just turn right or east. And then coming the other way, once again, this is on 20. We go through Island Park at the moment. And we're going to come into West Yellowstone, which is where our office is located. So here is the small town of West Yellowstone. This is the main entrance to Yellowstone National Park. When I say the main entrance, I mean the west entrance, which is the busiest entrance. And once again, if you are coming south on 20, you can either go down to Ashton and this time turn left or east, or you see this road over here. This road incidentally is closed in the winter for what it's worth, but this road here leads past Mesa Falls. And Mesa Falls is really a stunning waterfall. If you are going to be in the area, I suggest that you do Mesa Falls in the mornings because that's when you have a much greater chance of seeing one or more rainbows over Mesa Falls.